Hi YouTube, I'm going to do a quick, or maybe not so quick, unwrapping or unboxing, unpackaging of a um, an antenna that I got for GMRS radio, um, looking at doing a somewhat of a uh, hamo can as put together by uh, Tin Hat Ranch. Now, I probably won't be buying the, uh, or doing the actual uh, radio like he made, or the uh, container that he made, but uh, thinking about buying one from a company that has them pre-made, because uh, by the time you buy all the pieces and parts to, to, to actually do it, and the time that's spent to uh, put it together, I think I'd probably be money ahead just buying the uh, actual one that's made. Uh, the only thing is, it doesn't come with a can, doesn't co I mean, it doesn't come with a uh, radio, and doesn't come with an antenna. Well, why the antenna first? Well, it's budgets, you know. Uh, it was uh, the the least expensive part I could buy at this time. Now I bought two of these antennas, one for ham radio. I'm getting interested in ham radio and I'm going to be taking a test hopefully in another week. I uh, was going to do something this Saturday on it, but uh, uh, I have a time conflict with uh, uh, another thing that I'm going to. So anyway, uh, I do have a radio that I've been uh, practicing receiving with, not transmitting, but receiving. Uh, and it kind of familiarized myself with the actual art of ham radio in this uh, here particular little outfit here. Uh, um, we'll probably do in a pinch, in, uh, but I need a different antenna to make this thing work well. Uh, the antennas on these little uh, rubber ducky antennas that they call uh, do not work well uh, with these radios. Uh, this particular radio goes up to 8 watts power and it uh, serves both uh, 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands. So in other words, the megahertz are right around 140 something and 440 something, 430, somewhere in there. Okay, um, so I've been kind of practicing, not transmitting with this, but practicing uh, setting it and all kinds of things. The thing is fully programmable with a computer. Well, come to talk about the antenna. Okay, this particular antenna I got through uh, NT, N9TAX, uh, that is the N9TAX.com. And what this is called is a Slim Jim antenna. Now, the first thing I'm gonna take out of here, I actually bought for ham use in the future, uh, this has nothing really to do with my GMRS radio, but they all are kind of the same type of a radio, but uh, uh, but uh, they can't be used interchangeably. So what I have here is what they call a Slim Jim antenna. I'm going to pause for a moment and then unravel it. Okay, now that I have it unraveled, I can kind of start from one end and uh, show you this. Here they have... It looks like it's soldered together, and then uh, you can actually, there's a hole here. You can actually hook a rope to and then throw it up into a tree and then hang it from the tree. Uh, I did kind of spread it out here, and it's approximately, it looks approximately five to six feet long. And if you go along here, I'm not exactly sure if there's uh, uh, resistors that are in here or what. Uh, I know he shows how to, I think he, some, there are uh, places that actually show how to build these, but uh, it looks like it's very, very well done, and uh, uh, it even looks like there's a, a little thing here that they spread, have it so that it doesn't spread uh, apart, but uh, what I understand that this is called ladder wire, and here is actually a cut right here at a precise location uh, to make the, the uh, antenna work correctly. Now this antenna is for my GMRS radio. Now if I can find where the sticker is on it, and that is kind of nice that he did put stickers on it. 
and uh, it's for MERS, which is multi-use radio service, or GMRS, which is general mobile radio service. You have to have a license in order to use the uh, uh, general mobile radio service. Or you maybe feel that you don't. I mean, that's up to you. That's totally up to you, but I recommend that you do get a license because if you do get caught, and I'm not sure if who would actually try to catch you, but anyway... They're about, and I say, 10 years, and they're about 70 bucks. So it's kind of a, a chunk of change to invest. Uh, now, compare it to ham radio. You can get into ham radio uh, with uh, uh, for 15 bucks and take the test, but you got to drive to a different place to actually take the test. And if you're not into taking the test, maybe GMRS is the way to go. Now, I don't think that there's as many crazy rules as far as using GMRS for uh, different things. I don't think it's being monitored that close, but uh, uh, there is a rule book for it, and just follow the rules. That's all I can say. This particular one, some of them you can actually get with terminated right here at the end of the cable, at the end of the, uh, at the end of the uh, uh, antenna. And uh, I decided to get all, I think it's 16 feet. I maybe went a little overboard here, but I went with 16 feet, and I've got a PL259 connector on the end of this. So what do I do with this? Well, this is pretty much for kind of mobile use. Uh, you can run a, uh, especially for trail and stuff like that, if you run into an emergency or something like that, uh, you can uh, pull this up into a tree with a rope, and then hang it there and hook it to your um, your uh, radio. Uh, in this case, I think I'm going to do one of those Hamo cans, but I think I'm going to buy it from a place. Uh, you, you'll see it soon enough. And uh, anyway, uh, I, I'll be getting one of those here probably next month sometime, and a radio, a GMRS radio, mobile radio. So anyway, I've talked enough uh, eventually, I'm going to be taking my ham radio license. I do have a radio here, like I said. I only use it for, uh, I, I don't transmit on it. I just use it for listening at this point. Once I get my license and it shows up in the database, I can actually start using it for transmitting. Uh, not, no laws against, uh, against listening as far as I'm concerned. At least I haven't found anything. Uh, and this here particular adapter that I got goes to this radio and would actually hook up uh, um, an antenna like this. And, and I did maybe not say I am going to get uh, an antenna that actually is tuned to um, the ham the two ham bands of 70 centimeters and 2 meters. So it looks like a mess right now, and it is. But hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Uh, just kind of follow along with me in my endeavor to get my license here. Uh, and then uh, also um, keep checking back to see what my progress is with the, uh, uh, the GMRS radio and stuff, how that's working out, and uh, go from there. And I think I might have said, or maybe I not, I've tried, I've done this video over and over again because I get tongue-tangled and, and get sidetracked, but... Uh, uh, main reason for this thing is uh, GMRS uh, radios, uh, they travel a little further. I'm going to take them with on my trip when we go to the Black Hills. And it's nice to be able to have some sort of communication if we get separated somehow or if there's an emergency. And from what I understand, up in the Black Hills, there is some, um, some people listening. But by that time, I will also have my ham license, I hope and be able to uh, transmit um, for emergency purposes if we need it. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.